How's it going everyone? So we're here to check out the skins this week and it's going to be a little bit different because not only is there a mid wipe update to do something for the store, but there are no normal community skins this week except for the charitable rust ones. So when you go to the item store this week, you'll now notice there's a limited and a general section and the limited section is empty right now. This will fill in with the four charitable rust skins tomorrow. Uh, as well, there will also be Charitable Rust Twitch Drops, which are free. Twitch Drops are always free. Uh, so there's going to be quite a few skins. So tune in tomorrow to learn more about that. But for now, today, exclusively, the new permanent item store has made its debut. And basically, this is going to be first priority items made by Face Bunch. The community skins will still stay the same way they have been under Limited, uh, starting again next week. Uh, back to normal so those will still be here but the general store will be having any of the current uh, items that they decide they want to sell so there's the factory door here which is a sheet metal door skin we've got coconut underwear a sofa uh, so you know this kind of makes up for the door that was in that twitch drop and this makes up for not being able to get the couch which was in a twitch drop if you miss those so that's kind of a nice little thing so yeah that's how the store works and then the new thing some people might be like hey where'd the checkout button go it's actually a cart button up here now it'll show all your items and then you hit secure checkout and uh, to close that again you just click here so again that moved up here just in case you get a little confused so let's go ahead and jump into game and take a look at the items themselves all right so we're here to check them out in game and here is the nomad skin this is a skin for the hazmat suit. So when you craft a hazmat suit or stick it in a repair bench, you can switch it to this skin. And yeah, it's just got all these crazy details. Look at this. It's like so cool. A giant backpack on here. Look at all that. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Definitely a very, very cool set. And uh, this guy will run you the $10 price tag this week and uh, should be sticking around. So yeah, this is part of the new permanent item store. One thing you do want to know, permanent items bought from the permanent item store are not tradable. They are not sellable. Uh, so that is something that's going to make them different. That way people can't keep complaining about like, oh, the price goes up and down and then you put it back and it goes down. You know, does that keep it simple? Uh, they said if it, you know, they may think about that changing in the future, but that probably won't. But they do want suggestions on the kind of things people want to see. Something that's not big enough for a DLC, but is something cool like this kind of stuff. So yeah, that's what's going on right there. Next up, we've got a new underwear for you, and it is the Hula Girl set, or Hula outfit, I should say. And uh, yeah, down here you've got some leaves, and some leaves back here, and then the coconut shells. And uh, yeah, the way this one works is for underwear, you're gonna go into here and then you'll see the various underwears you own. So there's the coconut underwear and then there is also the grass skirt underwear. So there's two that come with this. So then this is basically, as you can see, changed to the grass skirt, which you can see now here. So yeah, that you actually get two for the price of this one. Let's go ahead and check out the deployables. First up, we've got the sofa with a pattern. This one is going to cost you $1.99, and uh, yeah, it's a sofa. You can just stick it around in your house, and uh, it's got kind of like a little nasty, dirty floral pattern on it, and of course, sitting in it does give you comfort. Then next, we've got the industrial door, and a lot of people were upset about the Twitch drop one. If they missed it, it's not fair. They don't have a door you can look out of. Well, this is a sheet metal door skin, and you can look out of it, so there you go you can pick up your very own for $4.99. Then over here, we've got some new lights. We've got a green, red, and a white light for you. These are the industrial lights, and the three of them together will run you $3.99, and they do have a pass-through. As of right now, they don't really admit a light source, like they don't light up a room, but they admit like a glow, so to say. That's also something that could change, so we'll just have to see how that goes with that. But let's go ahead and kill the lights and take a look at them. And there you go. Actually, it does look like they admit a bit of light now. So that was actually changed before they went live. So there you go. They do light up a bit of an area around them. So yeah, definitely very cool. And uh, that does it. Like I said, tomorrow, uh, tune in. We'll have the terrible Rust skins to show you. And then next week, uh, the normal... Uh, 
item shop stuff should be up along with all the permanent item store stuff still being there. So yeah, sound off how you feel about that, guys, down in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time.